Yo, Ranma Sao Tome here to tell you about the most incredible series of all time. It's called Ranma One Half, and it's all about how my father and I fall under this weird Chinese curse. As you can tell, when splashed with cold water, I turn into this incredibly stacked. Anyway, Yin and Yang was never so much fun. Ranma One Half TV series from Viz Video. Ranma here to tell you about a brand new OAV series from the folks at Viz Video. Desperately Seeking Shampoo. Shampoo's great-grandmother, Shampoo's this crazy chick from China, gives her this wacky brooch. Turns out when you wear it right, it makes your love for someone even stronger. But when you wear it wrong, your love turns into hatred. Anyway, you'll be able to see it yourself when Desperately Seeking Shampoo goes on sale. A special Christmas episode, Tendo Family Christmas Scramble, is also included. And the whole thing's only $34.95. Desperately Seeking Shampoo from Viz Video. Ying and Yang was never so much fun. The flesh of the mermaid has been sought by those seeking immortality. Partake of it, the legend says, and you shall be granted life eternal. Here you go. That bag's pretty heavy. Hey, kid, are you okay? Are you alone? Where did you come from? Tokyo. Oh, wow. Did you hear that, Mana? This little kid came all the way from Tokyo by himself. So, then you're meeting up with your mother? Uh-huh. We're gonna be living together from now on. Can you see her? Oh, there's 
my mom? So, how old are you anyway? I'm 20. Are you sure about that? And who's the girl? My sister. Sister, huh? Oh, what difference does it make? Are we shorthanded or aren't we? Well, to me, they both look like they're good kids, don't they? I, I guess so. Well, okay. Go get changed then. The back room is all yours. Thank you. Here. Time for a break. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Oh, nothing. Yukie! Hello. I hear you're working up at the mansion now. Yes. What are you doing up there? Now that Masato's come to live with his mother, I'll be there to help both of them out, you see. So... Hmm... Good morning, everybody. Ah, oh, Yukie! Masato, my, you're up early. I just woke up. Give me a moment and I'll make you something to eat. Oh, hello. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Oh. Masato. Come over here to me. <gasps> ah! What is she? Some kind of princess? Don't tell me she can't even make tea. I'm sorry. She's led a very sheltered life. What's her problem? Mana. Ma'am? Oh, Yukie. We were just out shopping and thought we'd take a little break. Then this must be young Mr. Masato. Yes, it is. Hmm. Oh, don't you like me, child? Oh, no. It's nothing like that. You're just nervous, aren't you?
It seems kids certainly love you, don't they, Yukie? It hasn't even been a week yet. Yes, we've become very good. You, Dad, that kid. Oh, yeah, from the train. What? You know him? Hello there. Do you remember us? Mana and I met you when you were on your way to meet your mother. Ah. Oh. I wonder, are you happy now that you're living with your mother? Mm-hmm. He may get along with you, Kie, all right, but... Huh? From what I hear, he doesn't talk very much to his own mother. Poor Yukie caught right in the middle between the two of them. And that mother, people in her own her don't seem to like her. I hear that the lord of the mansion was already very old when he fell for her, and I don't think they ever did get officially married. And then that terrible accident happened. Accident? Oh, yeah. Don't get me started on all that. About a month or so ago, the two of them were out on that fancy boat of theirs. When they crashed into a speedboat or something, of course, they both blew up. Story is, the husband and the other guy died immediately. The wife was supposed to have died from all her burns, but the very next day, she came back to life. She came back to life? And that isn't the worst of it. There she is, in the hospital, completely covered with burns. Then, a week later, she's walking around without a scratch. I mean, nobody gets over burns that fast. And let me tell you, folks around here aren't likely to forget that day anytime soon. Masato, will you please go and tell your mother that it's time to come downstairs for dinner? Okay. The scars won't go away. on here. This ought to do it. Your wound is less serious than I thought. Yuta, wasn't it? I'm so glad you came when you did. Where is she? She seems to have come back to herself now, but maybe we should contact the authorities. No, don't! Uh I don't want my mom to get arrested. Please don't tell anybody about what happened. Wait. I'm going to go talk to her. I'm going to tell her to leave that kid alone. disappeared. Almost like it never even happened. I've been around for 500 years now. How about you? How could you have known that? I've heard the whole story about how a woman walked away from a fatal boating accident. I'm the same way, you know. Most wounds heal right away. And even if I'm killed, I come right back to life. And I'll go on this way forever until my head is cut off. You ate it too, didn't you? Mermaid flesh.
you care? Hmm? You tell him my mom won't have a fight, will they? Hush now. Everything will be okay. Shall we go check? Mm-hmm. Okay then, I'll go make us something to drink. You wait here. It's just exactly as the legend says. Those who eat the mermaid's flesh won't age, they won't die, and they'll just live on for years and years and years eternally. You mean anyone who eats the mermaid's flesh? No, the mermaid's flesh is too powerful. It's a poison, really. It completely rearranges your entire body. People who can live through the experience and become truly immortal come around only once in a decade, sometimes only once in a century. For 500 years I was alone, except for me. Everyone else who ate the flesh either died or became a lost soul. What's a lost soul? It's a human who's failed to become an immortal. Didn't you know that? Their body, their soul becomes hideous. They're no longer human. Nothing more than an animal. If that's true, then... Then what? <sighs> Mom? Please don't be mad at me. Huh? I'll tell you another time when the child's gone. Will you be all right by yourself, Masato? Hey, kid. Do you want to come and stay with me? I'll be fine. We just can't abandon him. My goodness, it's seven o'clock already? Got a date? Uh, uh, yes. Well, perhaps we'll meet again later. Thank you for your help today. Mermaid flesh is poison? Not everyone becomes immortal? Will I die someday? I wonder. Oh, I must hurry. I must find the mermaid's flesh. Yuta! Hmm? Yukie! I thought I'd stop by before I headed up to the mansion. I was concerned about your cut. Oh, that. It was really nothing at all. Oh, there's nothing to worry about, honestly. Uh, Mana! Uh, Yuta, take a look at this. Hmm? Isn't it lovely? So that's what you did last night. So you'll be getting married. Yes, we've been talking about it for some time now, but you know. Well, congratulations. Thanks, but... Masato? Yes, I'm worried about him. I don't want him to think I'm running away. You're a very caring person. Uh -huh. And you'll make a good bride. Thanks, Yuta. Goodbye. Talk with you later. Yuta, is Misa one of us? Yes. But she doesn't seem too happy to find out that we're just like her. I don't think she's been an immortal for very long. Will she join us? No, I don't think so, but... You know, we can't just abandon that little boy. I see. Getting married. How wonderful for you. I hope you'll be happy. Thank you very much, ma'am. Masato? Please excuse me. Masato?
You kid, are you leaving me? No, not right away. But you're going to. I'm really sorry, Masato. I'd stay if I could. Miss Yukie? Uh? Um, will you try a little of this? What is it? Why, thank you. on here uh, answer me why did you uh, hurt Yukie it's him this is all his fault what he's trying to create a replacement for me Masato how far are we going we're almost there how is it that a child could have a poison that kills the lost souls anyway? There it is. This is my secret hideout. Where's the poison? 
It's possible that both Utah and my mom are dead by now. No! Don't say that! Your wound! It's healed! <laughs> Do you know what they call this? It's called a stun gun. He won't stand in our way. Where did they go? Uh, I first met Masato a very long time ago. It was during World War II. It was the very day after a big air raid on Tokyo. My husband had already died in the war. The, the night before, my only son had died before my eyes, crushed under a falling pillar. Uh, I had lost all will to live. And then... Hello, miss. Will you try a little bit of this? He's been with me since that time. In the beginning, I was happy. It was like having my son return to me. But then, no matter how many years passed, he didn't grow and I never aged. My wounds healed before my eyes. Mermaid flesh. He told me that he'd eaten it long ago and that he'd also fed it to me. After that, I began to fear him because even if I were to kill him, he would come back. And so I just uh, uh, ran until five years ago this man took me in. <coughs> hey. Then everyone started whispering about the boating accident. I don't know how they knew. And then he came. I'd given up. I thought... Uh, 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 You're getting worse. Uh, uh, you must take it away from him. Take the mermaid flesh away from him! You're not healing. <laughs> Bet that hurts. Too bad there's nothing in the mermaid's flesh to keep you from feeling pain. Untie me! Sorry, but I can't do that. You just go running back to Utah. Damn right I will! I think not. You'll be staying right here with me. There's no way I'd ever stay with someone like you! That woman will soon be no good to me. I need a replacement. I'm going back to Utah. You untie me now, damn it! Untie me! I, uh, Utah! Utah! So then, <sighs> it is you that's making you resist me. Guess I'll have to take care of him. I'll bring back his head for you. If he's decapitated, he won't be able to interfere, will he? Hey, what are you going to do? I told you, Mana. From now on, you're going to live with me. Come on, come on. Wake up. Nisa, wake up, please. Don't bother. She's just not bouncing back as quickly as she used to. I guess the mermaid flesh didn't work too well on her. It takes her a long time to get back to life. Can't use her much longer. Where is Mana? Put yourself in my place. A little boy can't live alone. Can he? Mana's gonna stay with me. I'm through with this one. I'll come back and chop off her head later. Why, you... Come back 
here. Piano wire. Too bad. Huh? I was hoping your head would come right off. It's real, you know. I stole it during the recent war, World War II. You're going to kill me? If I let you live, Mana will run away. Just like that other one. Why, you little... Come here, you... You gave them that poison for your own convenience. Didn't it bother you that you were damning them to eternal life? I was alone for 500 years before I met Mana. Do you hear me? 500 years. I know too well the sadness of being alone and the curse of immortality. This is evil. How many others have you sent to hell with that cursed flesh? Go ahead and kill me. Too trusting. Maybe you haven't uh, suffered enough. Uh, uh, why, you little. I can't even remember how many people I fed it to. You know, I've been living with my own curse for 800 years. Just because you've got a bigger body than me doesn't mean you can talk down to me. 800 years? Who was the first person I fed the mermaid flesh to? Try this. What is it? Mermaid flesh. It's supposed to make you live forever. Have some, Ma. And yet you still... <sighs> I tried living on my own for a century or so, but then the ones who would look after me kept dying from wars, famine, or whatever scourge was going around at the time. And when I got sick of them dying on me, then I started to think about the mermaid flesh. And since there is nobody like me, I had to create someone. I had all the time in the world, you see. I've had so many guinea pigs to feed it to over these long, long years. That other one lasted longer than any of them, so far. She was even nice to me in the very beginning. It was she who gave me the name Masato. So now that her curse has finally come to an end, you're going to cast her aside? Is that right? Is that why you fed the flesh to Yukie? She cared about you. I'm really sorry, Masato. I'd stay if I could. My God! Can you honestly say that you didn't care if Yuki had died or became a monster? We immortals can't afford to waste our tears on their brief little lives. We must think of ourselves.
Uh. No way I'm gonna let that little monster get away with this. Stop squirming, will you? him again. You're persistent. I'll give you that much. But why do you run? Are you afraid to die? You've lived for 500 years. What's left to live for now? What a foul-tempered woman. Hey, you! I've decided I'm gonna let you live a little bit longer. Wake up! Come on! Hey, wake up! Guess she's dead for good.
Utah. Where is he? He ran off with the mermaid flesh. We have to go after him. Find someone else. If you burn completely, then yes. The mermaid flesh, too? I don't know. Say, Mana. Hmm? When I first came back to life, it looked to me like you were crying, were you? Did you feel afraid? Of course not. Well, that it's just in all this time, I've never seen you cry before. Yes, I cried for the first time. When I knew for sure that you were still alive. When I knew that the two of us would still be together. My chest started to hurt and then water came out of my eyes. Mortals can't afford to waste our tears on their brief little lives. We must think of ourselves. No, that isn't true. Utah? Hmm? 